guys welcome back to my channel i'm Noni Adaka. Uh, today i'm here with episode two or being accountable and i'm here with my beautiful close friend matt she's going to be sharing with us today so i have 10 questions to ask her and she'll be giving us her opinion so i'm going to be using a phone so if you see me looking down just know that i'm, I'm reading on the questions okay so are you ready math can you please introduce yourself so they will know who you are and what you do okay guys so my name is marvelous all right but you can call me marv and uh, basically that's all about me i have a youtube channel <laughs> and it's my rehoboth with marv so all you can do to search and see my youtube channel is marv forever just do that you got to see it and i have a facebook page okay so that is it i love jesus <laughs> yes <laughs> She's a lover of Jesus and she, you know, her YouTube channel is loaded with beautiful content that will help you grow spiritually. So, and that's why she's here today to teach us one or two things. Yeah. I'm happy that you're here today. And Thank thanks you. for coming. Thank you for having me anyways. Yes. It's a pleasure. Okay. So, I had episode one where I talked about being accountable. I would like to run two questions through you and know your answers and you know your opinion. Good. So to you, how do you define being accountable? What does accountability mean to you? Okay, now, I'm gonna try my best to make it as simple as easy and yeah, as possible as I can, okay? <laughs> <laughs> All right. Being accountable to me means that I can trust you with not just money, but time and effort. Okay, so I know there are people who are on time. That basically doesn't mean accountability to me. Mm -hmm. It means that if you promise to do this, you got to do it because you've already given your word. So let's say accountability is being able to keep your word, not just for money, but for everything, including time. So if you said you're going to come today, I expect you to come, even if you come five minutes late. For me, it's still okay, so long as you honor your word wow. to me. So that's accountability. Wow, wow, wow. You, is it compulsory for someone or for young people like us to be accountable to somebody? Or what do you think? What's your opinion? I think people will not trust you if you are not accountable. If I can't trust your word, I mean, I can't do anything serious. Right. You understand? Mm -hmm. Because how can I know that you will, that if I give you something that means so much to me, that you will not flop? Yeah. So, um, as a young person, is it important to have someone that you are accountable to? Well, that it depends on what you talk about being accountable to somebody. Because if it's like, it depends on, you know, it depends on the situation of the whatever but yes accountability as a young person is important because you don't know everything right right there are people who are higher than you and have gone there but for me i don't really believe in so much of a role model right everybody has a reason to it mm -hmm. but yes you model somebody in one right. way or the other so being accountable is trying to be open to somebody who can guide you in this right and so do I you have the question. yeah yeah you, you did do you have any biblical example of where uh, in the bible someone portrayed accountability jesus christ did uh, jesus yes did portray how to be accountable for me when he said he was going to do something he would do it right when he said don't do that he made sure he did not do what he did he said don't do you understand right. he made sure he, he he lived his life so that you could see that he's an open book and then you can go through it as well it's not like i'm telling you to do something and i'm not doing it jesus was a very accountable person when it comes to a lady in the bible who was an accountable person we saw deborah right like deborah was a prophetess anyway but mm -hmm. for her own case she was not just a prophetess she was like, you're going to see this. 
she was telling the, the guy, I can't remember, the, the, the judges. The, the judge or the yeah, priest? Yes, in the book of judges. I don't remember that guy who was in charge of the community at the time. Mm -hmm. If you don't do this, a lady will take it. And you could see her going forward to make sure that she was in a mediator between God and the Israelites. So yes, she was accountable to God and also to the Israelites. Right. And she led by example of what she heard from God. Mm. How has being accountable to someone improved your life? Huh? Yeah, it's just, you know, we're digging deep into her life. Into my <laughs> life. Being accountable to a person actually makes me. You know can that. give us example if you don't want to, you know. Okay, you guys. Right. The team. <laughs> <laughs> being accountable to somebody actually makes me know that. I gave my word. Mm. You understand? And I wouldn't say I'm a man of my I'm a I wouldn't say I'm a woman of my word. Right. It's important to say that, but I do believe that there are areas in your life that you don't even know that you can do stuff about. You understand? So it still boils down to the place of vulnerability. Okay, so being accountable to somebody about my life makes me be sure that I do what I said. Mm. And if I make mistakes, I should be able to own up to my mistakes right. and say this is what I did. Wow. Has um, being accountable to that person in any way uh, made you feel like um, that you're sharing too much or that you're giving out too much? Or of course, sometimes. Accountability comes from a place of vulnerability, right? Right, and uh, sometimes you don't want to go too far because mm -hmm. sometimes you're not sure if the person can keep it, right? If the person can lead up to that. Now, it depends on what you see accountability as. For my first example of what an accountability is, I said it's like being. I, would, I can trust you with my time and stuff. Right. But another way is that you can also be able to hold somebody, put somebody in charge of your feelings, your words, mm. and your life, your life then steps you take in life. However, it can if you take the second example of what I said, it can actually, uh, what am I going to say right now? It would actually require that you come from a place of openness right and that actually can feel like you're not telling too much mm. so how can young people now how can we find someone to be accountable to because you know times are changing and you don't mm -hmm. know who to trust you don't know who to be open to you don't know what will happen in years to come so how do we find are there um, characteristics or are there measures or is there is there a system that is well you can use to find someone that to be accountable to now i would i would say this i believe in god right right so whenever i want to open up to somebody i would love to pray to god and ask god mm -hmm. is this person really worth telling my secrets to should i trust this person with certain informations about my life and yes, if I feel and if I get the word from God, now the question would be, how do I know that God is speaking? Is that God gave me his heart, okay? Right. So God made me in his image and I can feel sometimes when I'm listening. So whenever I listen, I know I can get from God. If I believe there is a God, right? So you can pray to a God that you don't believe in, right? Mm. Except you are in a place of, in between you want to be sure, but in this place, I ask God, do right. I need to open up to this person? And sometimes the Holy Spirit is a very good example of right. how to lead us to that person. This is from a Christian perspective and a person who loves Jesus, not just like a religious person, but right. a person who loves Jesus. Okay, now, again, it's a, a how can I trust somebody for a person who doesn't believe in God? Because I know some of you, um, audience may not believe in God. So I'm not giving you a second thought to go, hey, you know, you don't believe in God. Mm. So you no. I believe that you need to figure out that person who has the power to change and tell you things that you don't know about yourself. Okay? So, 
finding the God in me will help me find the person to talk to. And our spirit needs to link because the Bible mm. said that <laughs> That's true. the Holy Spirit and the Spirit in me will confirm that my, in my spirit that I am the child of God. So if, my spirit, if there is no alignment in my spirit, there is no communication, okay? Okay, so are you, are you in any way saying that since you're a lover of Jesus, mm. for adventure, the person that you want to be accountable to might not be a lover of Jesus. Would that rhyme? Would that, no, let me would, would there be any coherence in that? Okay, okay, okay. If the person doesn't know God, and that doesn't mean that I cannot talk to this person right. for certain information, but yes, there are some information that I cannot tell this person. No, because but being accountable understand. means that you are completely open. So, so there are, if there, you there tell are some things that leave you, some, you're not being open. I mean, being yeah. accountable has layers, my sister. <laughs> so why you. does it have to have layers? Because <laughs> sometimes you don't need to keep everything out there. Let the Holy Spirit sort things. That is for me. I right. mean, I'm, I'm just saying. It. Okay. I'm not saying that. Of, of course, I don't know everything. Right. All right. But for me, I believe that what God cannot deal with, deal with in my own life, mm -hmm. you cannot even fix it either. Mm. Right. Right. That doesn't mean that I'm just full of myself. There are times that I look for that person, but I don't have one specific. Like I said, I don't have one specific person that I just talk to I go with the spirit in me mm -hmm. and there are things you know about I don't know about and right. she doesn't know about right. and probably you are a Christian but you cannot understand the psychological mind right of course the psychological talks about the mind yes right. the feeling of how I feel psychologically you might tell me just go pray right. but you might not know the every details right. the Holy Spirit can still speak from people who don't know God right so that's you cannot say okay because she does not know but i cannot I actually share. mentioned that because you said the spirit was right and uh, we yes, agree now with you. yes <laughs> because the, even that person that does not believe in god right haven't you heard the holy spirit tell you to do something mm -hmm. as in talk to this person right. and that person doesn't even know god right. and the person will give you an answer to what You're you want to for. do so right. do you need extra holy spirit in them to help you <laughs> no yeah, just but my spirit <laughs> needs to rhyme in that i area. wanted to make it very clear you know i wanted to make it very clear yeah. okay wow that's yeah. beautiful thanks okay so are there pros and cons of being accountable i want to change that word from accountability to vulnerability are there pros and cons of being vulnerable like bringing being exactly. open yeah so let's hear the person if the person is not guided it's important to be guided. The person you're talking to, if the person is not guided, they will be judgmental. Mm. Especially <laughs> the things that you are even scared of. And that will break the accountability you've already built to that person's to the level. Right. All right. You know, you can tell there are friends of yours, or maybe you don't have those friends, but there are certain friends that you might tell something about you and they pour it back at your face. Right. Can you tell them stuff again? Mm -hmm. Honey. <laughs> You'll be like, sorry guys, it's not today. Right. I, because you don't know if the person will blab it back in your face again. So vulnerability has vulnerability in the sense of accountability right now has its pros and its cons. Because its pros is that you get to get information mm -hmm. about how to go about this and how to Things go about in that. Life, yes. And you learn from another person's perspective. Yes. Perspective is important. And that's right. why people remain stupid. <laughs> I'm telling you. Wow. Wow. <laughs> Guys, you're learning. Mm. Mm. I'm telling you because some people, if you always see from your perspective, everybody's wrong. Mm. You are the only right one. Yes. <laughs> but when you learn from that person's perspective, what makes pink color pink from their perspective you might understand that their pink is not pink mm -hmm. wow. it might be pinkish white <laughs> i'm telling you right. so with that alone you can build up uh, an understanding that it i'm not always right right maybe i am right in my own eyes but if i can see from her perspective i can learn from her mm. 
and we can cohabit together yes please right. so that's the point here did i answer the question yeah you did so i think i ran around the whole place and i came back i, I think you 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 actually pinpointed it that it was very important for for you to see if you're being accountable to someone to be able to see from that person's perspective because mm -hmm. the person has their own way of thinking other mm -hmm. than what you have in mind right mm -hmm. okay so my next question means that does it mean that if i'm not accountable or does it mean that if i am not accountable or remain accountable i can achieve my goals in life well it still boils down to what we said people remain stupid because they are not seen from other people's perspective so growth is not just an sick factor what does that mean you cannot just grow by all you have you don't have all the materials to face life you can do life all by yourself if not you would have existed your own self alone by yourself by yourself by yourself but you right. need people and that's why you cannot achieve your fullest goal if you are in school you're not in school all by yourself who is teaching you <laughs> of course it's a person if you're working you have colleagues right wherever you have you are if you are if you don't want to see people sorry you will still see somebody right there's so, no hiding place there is no place you would not see somebody. In fact, you're part of the somebody. You might not want to see yourself as well. So that's the point here. Yeah. You need people to grow. There is no way you can grow alone because your brain cannot. You know, how for that big deal sometimes, right? So in in hindsight, you're saying that uh, accountability is a lifelong thing. It's it's not just what you do because you want to mm. get married. <laughs> 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 Guys, you shake the devil. <laughs> I'm telling you. Oh my goodness, wow. <laughs> you need time to recover. <laughs> mm. So what, what what should you do when someone you are accountable to turns their back on you? You know that hurts like never before. That hurts like mm. too much. Mm. Yeah, what would you, what should you do when someone that you have giving it all out to, you know, turn their back on you, you know? What would you do when you turn your back on yourself? Hmm. Would you kill yourself? I would not, but I think I would literally take time out to absorb the pain and... So you, you might know. also want to take time out to absorb everything and let go. It's not easy to let go. Now, letting go doesn't mean you oh, you go back and tell the person everything again. Right. But, again, as a Christian, Jesus said we should forgive. Right. Forgiving, it's not easy. But how many times did Jesus say we should forgive in a day? 70 times 7. Mm. And how many times do a person need to hurt you to hurt you <laughs> 70 times 7 in a day? Mm -hmm. It's funny, but honestly, there are things people can do to you you don't want to forgive. Yes. But the forgiveness is not for that person for the most part. It's for you and for True. me. So when the person turns back on me, the question is turned to me, right? The person I trusted with all the information I have turns back on me. I'm sure it would hurt real bad. I definitely will hurt. But then I still have to choose if I want to live with the hurt or not. Mm. And then that's where my decision comes in. To forgive, that's what I'll do. Right. And then if it's something that we can amend, fine. If it's not something we can amend, we will part in peace. All right. Um, I think uh, you said it's a decision, right? Yeah. Is there anything that you feel like you would have told your younger self that you've known about accountability now at this age that you, you really want to share? You want to know the <laughs> Yeah, yeah, yeah. I want to know the truth. Like, yeah. Honestly, when he, when I want to talk to my younger self, I would tell her, "Go, you're so beautiful. <laughs> you did. You you've been working so hard. I didn't know. I mean, because I don't know. No, this. It, it, in in relation to accountability. That's the fact. Okay. You've been <laughs> such a good girl. You have been doing this all good. <laughs> Come on. I I mean it. 
I don't have anything to tell her. She is she was top notch. Okay. When I think about her, I, I pity myself now. <laughs> <laughs> Guys, you heard her. I think um, um for me, if uh, if that question is thrown back to me, mm. I would say that um what I would tell my younger self would be work on how much expectation you put out there because if you kind of expect too much and the expectation is being crushed it hurts more but if you are at that place where you you're open like okay I'm, I'm doing this because uh, I really want to you know you know be open to this person and if anything like you said if any um, if there is any backstabbing or any betrayal I will absorb the pain mm -hmm. Uh, ask the Holy Spirit to help me forgive because if it's on my own, I can. I, you know, it will, it will take time for you to forgive on your own. Not just forgiving, forgetting, working, forgiving and forgetting the work hand in hand. You know, ask the Holy Spirit to help me forget and and also the third step will be asking the Holy Spirit to help me move on. Yeah, because if you forgive and forget, the next step would be trying to push yourself to move on. Because people who go through hurt and betrayal, they find it so difficult to trust exactly. another person. Mm -hmm. And that's the moving on we're talking about. So if you are like, oh, you forgive, forget. How about moving on? How about forging ahead? Okay. You know, so I think that would be what I would tell my younger self. That's good. Yeah. Um, so are there any last words you would like to leave? Well, guys, I really had fun talking to this lady. Mm -hmm. You're not only keeping her contemplating because you want to get married. You know, no, no. <laughs> <laughs> See, let me say to oh you, goodness. if you... I think at this point in our lives, we learn from everything. And I always say this, your past has a way of coming back to your present, to mm. haunt your present, present, but it's still your choice to mm. let it or not. Okay, so when I look at my younger self, what I saw or what I see in the picture of that young girl was a girl who doesn't care. <laughs> who doesn't care what she loves mm -hmm. just that she doesn't know how to let you know she loves no not really that she doesn't know how to let you know but she doesn't let the hurt come in mm. she, deals it, she deals with it better than now you understand because for right now You've already gone through experiences and experiences right. and you accommodate more. But when she was younger, she was a free spirit. So when I look at her, I'm like, girl, you were good. <laughs> <laughs> Why can't I be like you? <laughs> so the last thought is this. If you are a person who wants to do things on your terms, in your way, life does not work like that most times. True. There are times you have to put your foot on the ground and say, enough, it's got to be done this way. But there are times you have to compromise. That's true. If you don't know how to compromise, you cannot be accountable because you would always see people as people who stepped on you. Mm -hmm. And guess what? You are actually the one stepping on yourself because you always want things on your own terms. It does no not work that way. Whether you are a baby, a young person, a married person, you want to get married, you are older, you're a senior, whatever you are, accountability is needed mm. among the people you live with. Right. Your family, your friends, your workers. If I can trust you with your word that you're going to come here today and you did come, how can I trust you to come tomorrow? Mm. So I, can, I said, maybe. And I said, okay. I, I don't think she will come or he will come. But if he comes, fine. So I won't take that too seriously because the first time I took you serious, you flopped it. And if you are trying to handle life on your own, you will crush. Mm. Because life does not know what... It will happen the next day. It right. just comes and happens. All right. So, and if you have plans, some plans of yours can be changed. I know how to talk. So, but I'll end it here. 
Wow, I hope you learned something. Thank you so much, Mark. Thank you for having me. I, I just feel in my spirit that you should pray for anyone that has gone through betrayal once or okay. another. Let's just end it there. All right, let's pray. Dear God, we thank you so much for everyone watching yes. and has gone through one thing or the other. You love us so much and you love this person so much. And I just want to reach out to that person right now. And I pray for our healing of heart. I just pray that you open up their heart and heal them from the inside out. Let them receive your love because you are love yourself. Let them feel this love and just give up everything that is holding them down. And Lord, from this moment, may they be free from it and be open to talk about it. Some of you don't want to revisit it, but sometimes revisiting it is what you need for your freedom, and I pray for that in Jesus' name.